Ever wondered about the creepiest place you could stay in the United States? Hear about the Cecil Hotel, a terrifying hotel that had been built back in 1927. It stands even now and it is known for having a rather disturbing history. At first, this hotel might look like something we often see when passing by a hotel, but in reality, it is filled with mystery. In fact, it is quite strange. Currently known as Stay on Main, Cecil Hotel was initially opened with 700 rooms decorated in a style known as Art Deco style. This was done to attract and entertain the businessmen who arrive in Los Angeles. Located at 640 South Main Street, downtown Los Angeles, this hotel did not take too long to become a victim of extremely hard times during the horrible beginning of the Great Depression. The area surrounding the Cecil Hotel became super popular among the homeless. There were up to 10,000 homeless people within the area, which turned out to be a huge problem for the Cecil Hotel. The entire situation escalated and resulted in big numbers of suicides, serial killers, murders and more. Most of the serial killers actually checked in for the night and turned this hotel to a real nightmare. There are various stories of the terrible murders and suicides that had happened at the Cecil Hotel, having the reputation for being one of the creepiest places to stay in the United States. This hotel surely has many bone-shaking stories that should be shared with you all. The Unsolved Murder of Pigeon Goldie According to the story related to the murder of Pigeon Goldie, Pigeon Goldie was actually a rather recognisable face around the Cecil Hotel. She fed and protected the local pigeons at Pershing Square, very close to the hotel. Back in 1964, this retired telephone operator was found dead in her room at the Cecil Hotel. She was brutally assaulted, strangled and stabbed. This murder still remains unsolved because apparently the wrong person had been charged for the murder. 29 years old, Jack B. Ellinger was actually seen walking through the Pershing Square with bloodstains on his clothes. At first, he was charged for the murder of Pigeon Goldie, but later on, his name has been entirely cleared. The real killer will probably never be caught at all, but it is truly a frightening story. The unsolved murder of Pigeon Goldie was actually the most popular death that had happened at the Cecil Hotel. Sadly, the Elisa Lamb story has taken that place now. The Mysterious Death of Elisa Lam As currently the most popular death of the Cecil Hotel, the death of Elisa Lam actually makes our bones shake. Back in 2013, a young 21-year-old college student known as Elisa Lam was found completely naked and dead in a mysterious water tank on the rooftop of the chilling Cecil Hotel. The events surrounding Elisa Lam's final hours were extremely mysterious. They led to many speculations that maybe something a lot more sinister actually happened. Elisa Lam travelled completely alone from Vancouver to Los Angeles. She went missing, but not too long after, she had checked into the Cecil Hotel. Soon after, the CCTV footage of Elisa in the elevator was released by the police. The footage is strange. Her behaviour is nowhere close to normal. She actually seems very disturbed. Looking at the footage, you can notice that she is panicking. She is pushing all of the buttons in the elevator at the same time, slowly leans her head through the doors as if she is looking for something very unknown. Soon afterward, Elisa hides in a corner of the same elevator, looking as if she is talking to someone off camera. As she is standing there, the door fails to close. She leaves the elevator and never reappears again on the footage. According to the many theories that have been surrounding Elisa Lam's death, she might have been chased by a potential serial killer, or maybe she had been suffering from a manic bipolar episode. The death of Elisa Lam is still a rather popular topic around. It is unsolved and still remains a complete mystery. The Terrifying Strangling by Jack Unterweger Journalist and Austrian serial killer Jack Unterweger was one of the guests at the Cecil Hotel back in the early 1990s. Jack was known for murdering 11 prostitutes in Prague, Vienna and Los Angeles. He would strangle his victims to death with their own lingerie. All of these murders have occurred between 1990 and 1992, but his first murder actually happened in 1974. At the time, Jack was working for an Austrian magazine. He was writing criminal stories in Los Angeles. For him, it was easy to secure rides with the LAPD and go around the areas that he would soon use for his own crime. He used his reporter status to get anywhere he wanted, and it worked for him. 
The extreme method of strangling done by Jack Unterweger is rather unique. It was actually the reason he got arrested. Thanks to his unique strangling method, they managed to tie him as a prime suspect to three homicides that had happened in the Los Angeles area. He was soon arrested in Miami, taken to Austria, and in 1994, he was sentenced to life in prison without any possibilities of parole. The same night Jack had been sentenced for life in prison, he hung himself behind bars, using the same knot that he had been using to strangle all of his victims. The youngest victim of the Cecil Hotel. This tragical death of an innocent baby happened in 1944. At the Cecil Hotel, Dorothy Jean Purcell was a 19-year-old lady who was staying as a guest at the hotel. She actually threw her newborn baby boy outside of the window. According to the story, the young Dorothy Jean Purcell was not even aware of her pregnancy. She woke up in the middle of the night with terrible stomach pains. At the time, she was sleeping next to her 38-year-old partner, Ben Levine. Dorothy did not want to wake up Levine. She went to the bathroom and delivered the baby on the world, all by herself. Believing the baby was dead, Dorothy threw the baby from the great height of the Cecil Hotel. Soon after, the body of a baby was found on a roof adjacent to the building. Dorothy was quickly arrested, but the psychologist determined she had been mentally confused. She was not found guilty due to her insanity. The brutality of Richard the Night Stalker Ramirez. Obviously, Richard earned his the Night Stalker title for a good reason. Richard the Night Stalker Ramirez was often found stalking the streets of San Francisco and Los Angeles, 1984 to 1985. He was one of those who looked for purely innocent victims. Apparently, he loved to butcher them to death. Richard was a known Satanist. He was always using all kinds of knives, handguns, hammers, a machete, and even tire irons to furiously murder his victims. The judges describe his crimes to be extremely sinister. Cruelty, callousness, and viciousness beyond any human understanding. According to the reports, during the sadistic killing spree moments, Richard often found himself staying at the Cecil Hotel. Back in the days, the rooms were only $14 per night. It was really easy to afford that. The Cecil Hotel and the area around it was known for being one of the most popular hangout spots for junkies. Knowing this, Richard had no issues stalking on the streets at night. He did not bring much attention to himself. He did not look suspicious at all. Richard the Night Stalker Ramirez is no longer something to worry about though. He died aged 53 on death row in a prison back in 2013. The blood-curdling death of George Giannini. As probably one of the strangest deaths at the Cecil Hotel, the deaths of George Giannini and Pauline Otten still tend to make us wonder. According to the reports, 65-year-old George Giannini and 27-year-old Pauline Otten were arguing in one of the rooms on the ninth floor of the Cecil Hotel. Soon after, George had gone outside. Pauline decided she would write a suicide note and she, without any hesitation, jumped from the window right to the pavement below. Unlucky for George, he was walking directly below her falling spot. Pauline landed on him and they both instantly died. After the police finally arrived at the crime scene, they actually thought this was a clear double suicide case. After looking deeper into the scenario, they noticed George still had his hands in his pockets which was completely inconsistent with the double suicide theory they had previously thought of. Not very soon after, the truth was finally discovered. This was an actual suicide that had caused a completely accidental death. The merciless death of Elizabeth the Black Dahlia Short. Back in 1947, a young mother and her child came across something shocking. In front of their eyes, there was a body of a 22-year-old aspiring actress, Elizabeth Short. In the Lamert Park, Los Angeles, the body of Elizabeth Short was completely mutilated. At first, her body and herself looked like a mannequin. It is believed that Elizabeth was often seen at the Cecil Hotel, not even long before she was brutally murdered. She was very passionate about becoming something big in Hollywood. She would often visit bars and meet producers who would then secure her a good movie. Her body was completely cut in half at her waist. Her face had been cut from her mouth to ears, making it look like the very known Glasgow smile. 
Her corpse was drained of all blood, washed and posed. Her hands were over her head and her legs were spread apart. To make it even stranger, despite this extremely brutal murder, not a single spot of blood was found at the scene. The young Elizabeth was living to be famous. Sadly, her death made her famous on a whole different level. That was Unexplained Events That Happened at the Cecil Hotel. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.